Hello, dear friends from Toronto. Um, I'm so happy to be back in Kerner Hall um, after two years to play a brand new recital program. Um, this is a program I just uh, built a few weeks ago uh, with pieces that were written, the, all the pieces were written in 80 years. So I will open with Mozart A minor sonata and close with first movement of Alcan solo piano concerto. And my idea was to give an impression of how piano music uh, the, changed and how somehow it was improved by uh, technical discoveries uh, with the, the making of the instrument and uh, the requirements of the audience, the requirements of the composers. And the pieces written for piano were more and more extended and uh, requiring more and more technical means from the performers. Uh, but if you listen in a Mozart sonata, there is already a longing for dim symphonic dimension, I would say. And the whole program has, for me, a symph symphonic smell. So from Mozart sonata to Alcan Concerto. And in between, I will play some Chopin pieces that are not some of the most played Chopin pieces. So that's also why I like so much to play it. Uh, because it's always intimidating to play a repertoire that is very, uh, very much played. There are many, many spectacular versions and sometimes I don't feel so free to experiment. This time I will play Second Ballad, Prelude in C-Sharp Minor, Opus 45, and Polonaise Fantasy. And with these three pieces, I really feel free. And also, I, I think that these pieces have a symphonic uh, smell, as I was uh, telling. And it uh, creates a wonderful bridge between Mozart music and Alcan music. Alcan music, I, I discovered when I was a teenager with the, from the score. And um, he, he wrote many, many pieces for the piano. Most of these pieces are incredibly difficult. but. This movement of the this first movement of the piano concerto um, is absolutely wonderful. Uh, how it's crafted, how it's uh, how it's felt, and it's, it's such a big form, like 30, 35 minutes, the solo movement with a big cadenza in, in the end, and uh, uh, with a lot of invention in the, the way uh, the, the writing is um, is carried on. And um, uh, for, for me, it's, it's not a visionary piece because the style, you will hear the style uh, reminds of, uh, of classical period more than uh, looking in the, into the future with chromatism. And he's more conservative in the language, but he, there is something in the underground of the piece, I would tell, something under the notes hidden under the note that, that is actually uh, already uh, creating kind of the musical trance that the composers of the end of the 19th century and the 20th, beginning of 20th century will look for. This kind of uh, total, uh, almost chaotic uh, trance with the music, reaching an impossible culmination. And in this concerto movement, I find it and I, I love this uh, myself <laughs> uh, to uh, to be involved in uh, an emotional crescendo. And this concerto movement is like a big, big emotional crescendo. Uh, so that's why I want to, to share it with the audience, with you. And uh, I hope that you will enjoy this, uh, this program very much, as much as I do. So see you on October 29th in Kerner Hall. <laughs>